Please be reminded that in the previous videos, we were able to establish that set Z written in uh, set builder form stating X such that X is a prime number less than 10 is already equivalent to a roster form containing the elements 2, 3, 5, and 7. So I already placed it here so that we are not going to discuss anymore why the, why is it that only four elements are found on set Z? So let's proceed to number one. Number one is concerned on the intersection of set X and Y. If you say intersection of sets, just like the intersection of roads, the, the intersection of rows is not actually the, uh, the place just beside the road. The intersection of roads is the middle part or the common part of the both roads. So it is in the middle part of the, the cross roads. So because that is the only area common to both roads or more roads. In short, in short, for the intersection of sets, intersection of sets X and Y, we are just going to talk about or list the common elements found in both sets. So to answer the intersection of X and Y, looking at the elements of X and Y containing 1, 2, 3, and 4, and for set Y, which contains the elements 2, 4, 6, and 8, the elements found in both sets are the elements 2 and 4. No more, no less. Since 1 and 3 elements of set X is not found in set Y. And consequently, the elements 6 and 8, which are found in uh, set Y, is not, are not found on, uh, cannot be found on set X. As for number 2, the intersection of Y and Z, simply look for the common elements found in both sets. So again, set Y contains the elements 2, 4, 6, and 8. Set Z contains the elements 2, 3, 5, and 7. The only element found in both sets is the element 2. And for number 3, as for the intersection of X and Z, Again, it should be, it should contain the elements found in both X, set X, sets X, and Z. So set X contains the first four counting numbers, one, two, three, four, and set Z contains the elements or the, uh, the prime numbers less than 10. The only elements common to both two sets are elements two and three. Now, before we end this video, what if we interchange number three, okay? The interchange the sets in number three. Let's say the intersection of set Z and X. Here, we are just asked about the elements found in Z that, is, that are also found in set X. Similarly, our answer should contain, our set should contain the elements two and three. The point here is that similar to your union of sets, it doesn't matter which set comes first. If X comes first and then Z comes next in intersection, if you're going to interchange them saying Z intersection X, they will still record the same result because the elements that you need to list are those are those elements that are found in both sets similar to your union of sets it doesn't matter which set comes first discussion of the intersection of sets is just very short because you don't actually need to remove combine or whatever things you do for the elements simply look for the common elements of the given sets that is all for this video. Be excited for the next video. Goodbye.